well, you're tired. I wonder what got into you. Tired of what? That's my question. Tired of doing the same thing. Tired of putting effort in a relationship that's probably one-sided. Just burdened overall. Ready to throw in the towel and just start all over. For others, this is also carrying the truth. Because the truth is a burden if we cannot speak of it. So you're having, you know, your cat got your tongue. Cat got your tongue. That's what it's saying here. I don't know if I can say it. I don't know if I can, like, I feel like you want to complain, but you, you're bottling it up. And it's about to go down. This is a Ten of Wands. Okay, Scorpios, welcome to my channel. I'm Sal. I do the readings here every day for your career, your finances, and your relationship. I also do say Dear Vedic Astrology for your daily transit report. Um, right now, I'm not accepting any more um, charts. Because, uh, I mean, like hundreds of, you know, there was a, like a lot. <laughs> more than hundred of... Um, People, you know, it's a 2024. I'll let you guys know again when it's going to come back. Okay, so it's going to be out of stock for now until I finish it. Where is the current transit? Can't even find it. Okay, I think I would have to use my phone. Let's see here. Sorry about this, guys. You know, you guys know current transit from the moon. Okay, well, I can't find it in my app. I think they updated it. Okay. So let's discuss first the Ten of Wands here. Oh, I forgot. There we go. The Ten of Wands is a card of um, feeling the pressure of life. Looking at it where you don't know whether you can continue. Now, if it's a relationship, then you know you're hitting a wall at this time. Every day that you're trying your best, it's not yielding result. However, this card right here shows that you have taken this as your responsibility. What I mean by that is you can say no. You choose not to. Whether it be for love or the care that you have for this person, well, that's a different story. But this is one, so it's passionate connection. You know, some people get tired like you, you know, even though you're a Martian, you're getting tired. You're getting tired of the same situation every day. So let me wear my black obsidian pea for you. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. I think I have good timing today. So if I have good timing, I don't wear my watch. Okay. Waiting. That's the burden here. Waiting for your person to make that decision. Your situation is about you want them to express themselves, but they're keeping them not, you're not being ignored, I don't think so. It's more of like your person cannot decide. Crossroads, hangman and a judgment, to reconcile or not, to fix this or not. It's a maybe, of course. And this is what you're having a burden with, is the lack of let's just say masculine energy, who's a doer, who takes action, who takes leadership, who takes responsibility for everything. Judgment and the hangman, your person can't. Okay, so they're in the, I can't, I'm not sure, I don't know. Okay. And like what I mentioned, you're ready to throw in the towel, the Ten of Swords. You're throwing in the towel here because you feel played. Knight of Wands, you know, they do whatever they want, you know, with their life and they come to you when they need you and it's fun. But then for you, it's just like, so am I only going to be an option to this person? Not an option, like, I don't know if they're dating other people, but the Knight does, you know, do what makes them fun and happy. So it's the waiting again, waiting for that opportunity to be with them. Seven of Pentacles with the Wheel of Fortune. So this is where you go crazy. This is where you say, it's like, I can't, I'm sorry. You know, it's like, I've taken a chance. I believe that we do have this connection. That's a will of fortune, of course. That's fate. 
that's waiting for the time that, that, you know, like, oh, they said January, they said March, you know, they said last year, you know, this is about a specific time that they have promised to you. And this is, you know, the seven of Pentacles is like, I've just be waiting. I just be waiting every day, every day. Mm -hmm. And you're not upset with them. I don't think so. You're just tired and exhausted. There's two crystals that everyone should have, citrine and obsidian. I'm telling you, I have manifested money, business, the house, the car, and of course, the relationship. So if you're stuck and you don't know what's going to happen in your 2024, turn it around today. Get your citrine and obsidian. Our website is eatreadlove.me. Tired and exhausted of the same thing. Mm -hmm. Tired and exhausted. Okay. Let me see here. Tired and exhausted. Ooh, King of Cups to the Ten of Pentacles. Looking forward for a lot of money here. Um, we have, uh, what do you call Ten of Pentacles is something that I am an expert. <laughs> we have extended our winter sale, our 50% off on our Black Obsidian Citrine. This is my go-to, my favorite. Of course, our stack is available in the description down below. We ship to more than 80 countries across the globe in a free money magnet charm. So this one, the Black Obsidian, remove negativity, attract prosperity. The earlier that you start, of course, New Year, <laughs> we got to get on it. The coins, darling, the coins. Let's build that momentum, okay? Of course, the PL removes the obstacle, and it has helped me. So make sure to check it out. And the free classes in the description box below, okay? Because I feel like you're aligning yourself um, with the King of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. You're looking forward to be with them. You have a lot of tens, which means like this is about results. Nines are finality. So you want to know what is the result of your, all your actions. Is there a possibility to be with them, right? But then you're probably on and off with this. Meaning, good day, bad day. Some days you want to be with them, some days you don't. So you ooh, you want to try and message them. You want to try and talk to them. I see that here. Knight of Cups to the Three of Swords, but it ended not too well. Miscommunication, misunderstanding. Okay. So the Knight of Cups and the Three of Swords, that's something that chances are that's there's a reason why you want to reconcile. This is what the reason why you want to fix it. You know, it's like you guys ended it. Well, it ended on a bad note because it's more of like they didn't really make that decision. The day that you wanted it, the day that you want to talk to them and see them. So that conversation was, you know, was non-existent. And it's tearing you apart right now that you guys are not really in contact and in communication. Let's see this Three of Swords then. Because judgment with the Three of Swords, they could be choosing, of course, you know, one person and another. Now it makes sense because the Knight of Wands and the Three of Swords is here. So there are, ooh, there are some truth, Seven of Swords, that you need to know. And this is something that you cannot do to a Scorpio. Is to lie because they'll be on it. And this is what you feel with the Ten of Swords then. You feel betrayed. Ooh. Betrayed by the lover. Gemini. Get Scorpio, Sag, Pisces, Aquarius, Taurus. So let's see what is this about. I got a flipper also here. What is your person hiding from you? Definitely they cannot make this decision right now. But we'll see what is the truth behind the lies. And the chance, of course, ooh, you'll be stressing. Can't sleep. Mm -mm. You'll be stressing because you're not with them. And you want to know is... what. Um, if there is a chance because they haven't been really invested in the connection and it's getting less and less and you're just stressed and feeling alone over here. To find out more about this reading, link in the comments for the extended. I will see you there. Hold on, hold on. You're here already and I have a free class for manifestation of love and money. And if you are serious, there's a free class in the description box below. Join me and learn more on how to manifest with a real gold PL.